what is good what is good all my real ones welcome back to another it gets real adventure it's your boy be the flossy fisherman back at it today we are in half moon bay california hitting up the surf woke up in the morning around six o'clock hop up in the whip and hit the bank shot gotta make it quick no time no wait but i gotta stock up on where i'm cooked some weight pull up to the lake trying to find a spot this brain said they bite and buy the duck if you ever been fishing then you know the deal sit back relax cause man it gets real see we have one fisherman out here a lot of surfers more fishermen down there now in one of my recent videos you guys may have seen me bring this guy out brought him to the salt to the jetty to try to catch some rockfish but i am kind of infatuated with the possibilities of what this thing can catch so we're taking it to the surf today that's right we got the ugly stick dock runner going out to the surf I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to get it, but hopefully the surf perch are in close, but I'm gonna get rigged up. We going for it, baby. We going for it. Keeping this four pound test on here and this stock reel. I have the pit bull tackle surf perch leader and it's 12 pound test monofilament leader. Then we're gonna be using the bloody Berkeley Gulp bloody sandworm. Oh yeah, man. I can't wait to see what happens. Surf perch on the dock runner so we are going to do a basic carolina rig setup gonna use a one ounce egg sinker pretty cool and convenient man the pre-made rigs that they have you know they even included the beads that's just pretty cool I'm gonna do the improved clinch knot lubricate the knot boom and they got it funky man this got all kind of juice up in here so these things are funked up for sure. I'm using the two inch on a size six bait holder hook. We ready to fish. Oh, this is gonna be crazy trying to cast this, man. Yeah, that's the only thing that I knew that was gonna be an issue is trying to get this out there far enough. I have to put my phone back in my backpack everything all my belongings because i'm getting wet oh oh yeah take it take it yeah did we get him did we get him he might have got lost in the way he might have got no he's on baby you see that bendo you see it you see it let's go let's go Woo. got him man walleye on the mini thing what's up with it that's a beautiful hook set too my goodness what's up Serge? you see him he, he kind of lanky we got it done on the dock runner son yeah Time to get another one though. It's time for another one. Oh, Serge, hooking up, hooking up, hook up. There you go. Nice bark. Luckily these things are in close. Cause I can't cast far with this. Usually I would have my leaders a lot longer than this. I think this is about a two foot leader Usually when I go to the surf, I got somewhere between uh, three feet and five. Yes, it is high tide. It is high tide, incoming tide. But it's bringing the fish in, man. Gonna move on the other side of Mr. Outcaster here. Gotta get into this hole a little bit, man. Find me a hole. Fire in the hole. Yeah, yeah, look at that bendo. Look at that bendo. Fish on, baby. Fish on. All I wanna do is get my fish on. 
Oh, a little drag action, a little drag pillar. Okay. Let the way work with me. Let the way work with me. Nice little bar. Yeah. Got a silver and a bar. Hey man, I told you to come over here, man. <laughs> Hook up. Although Bard Surf Perch do not have a size limit for myself personally, I would at least like them to be 10 inches. I'm just having fun with this little pole right here and all the possibilities of what it could catch. Dude, I'm on the surf with this thing. About to throw my arms out casting this thing. So I'm just casting it, slowly retrieving it in. As soon as I cast it though, I do give it a little second to see if they'll hit on the drop. You now that two ounce weight would do, do me some good, man, because this current is taking my stuff all the way to the right. It's just having its way with this uh, one ounce weight. Is that a fish or is that seaweed? What is that? That stuff is crazy heavy. Wait, is that seaweed? I think it might have been a crab. Yeah, it was a crab. Oh, had one. Still got one. Wait, wait a minute. What is that? Sand dab. What? Yo. Oh. That's crazy. Straight sand dab off the mini. Whoa, what the heck? Multi-species on the dock runner, on the ugly stick dock runner, man. What the heck, sand dab off the surf? That is crazy. Yo, man, I'm having a blast right now, man, with this mini pole. Look at that, man, it's a hot reel. It's so hot that we got a yellow jacket eating a, a fly. Yo, we got real live wild national geographic type stuff happening right here on this rod man you interrupting my fishing man you gotta go on and take your meal somewhere else this ain't the shakespeare restaurant man Whoa. Whoa. oh now he's trying to attack me now he's trying to attack me get off my rod man Feel like Martin in that one movie, man. What was it Blue Streak? Where he got the, the fly was on him, and then the, the cop was trying to swat it off of him, but it looked like he was beating him. That's what that just reminded me of. I'm out here swatting this yellow jacket away. She. Let's get back to this fishing though. Ooh. Wow, out there. We out there. Nice little deep hole right there, a little pocket. Oh, I see the... Ah, oh, not fast enough. That might have been a soft shell. Let me get a soft shell out this thing. I'm throwing them right on this hook. All right, so we're not getting as many bites as we were on the bloody. So I decided to switch it up to the camo. Let's see if this is what they want. All right, camo in the house. Let's go. <laughs> Sand crab. This one got a bunch of eggs. See all them eggs right there? That's what the surf perch like to get. Go on, little fella. Give it one more cast and um, I'm gonna do it moving. Oh, yeah. That was bite. Yup. Yup. You know. Yup. He's on. Gave it one more chance at the right time. Let this wave work with me. 
while we get this guy in. Doesn't feel big. Wasn't big at all. Little dude. It's all right, little bard. We getting it, man. Surf perch number three. Fish number four. A lot of fun for $17, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Still on or not? Nah? Yep. Oh, tiny, tiny, tiny. Surf perch number four. Try this sweep casting. So, you know, sweep casting on the surf is where you just cast horizontally you make a full sweep yeah tap a tio tap a tio tap tap that tap a tio action uh-huh talk to me talk to me Yep. Oh, he feel decent. He feel better. That fish feel better. Ooh. Don't lose him in the wave, though. Don't lose him in the wave, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on with this action. Come on with it. Okay, a little drag feeling. Work with the way, work with it, work with it. Oh! And here, we have a barless surf perch. This is still a barred surf perch, but it's barless. Got no bars like a whack wrapper do have to give another shout out to pitbull tackle these surf perch rigs right here are pretty darn good i mean the hook is super sharp that 12 pound mono it hasn't got tangled up it just it seems perfect man it seems perfect i'm glad i tried it out today and um man i think i will be using 12 pound mono every time I go surf perch fishing now. Work my way down a little bit. No, that's a typical practice when you are surf fishing. You just want to keep going down whatever stretch of beach and try to find these spots, find these uh, perch. Oh yeah. Kept my eyes peeled. Kept my eyes peeled. And what did I find? Soft shell, baby. Let's go. All right, I'm excited about this. The potential of what can happen right now is kind of making me a little nervous. Because the soft shell sand crabs are the recipe for big surf perch. Yeah, we got them. Walleye. Not the monster I was looking for, but. Yeah. That'll do, that'll do. Is this uh, fish number five? Surf perch number five? 
All right, still keep an eye out for more soft shells, but got the camo worm back on here. Oh, look at him. Little tough guy. Little tough guy. little dude was oh look at that crab look at him go little dude was fighting hitting hard trips me out man the way that these little fish whether it be striper whatever bluegill i mean the tiniest fish be hitting the hardest man oh yo that's a good one Come on. Oh, that felt hecka good. Walleye. So in fact, those other ones that I've been catching are silvers. Cause this right here is a walleye. Got the black fins, black tips on the fin. And you can see that eye is just as big as I don't know what. What you looking at, Willis? So yeah, those other ones were silver surf perch. This is actually the first walleye today. But all in all, fish number seven. He hit hard, man. Dang, I thought I had something good. I was like, all of a sudden my line just got smacked. Boom. May need to put another camo worm on there. That one is pretty chewed up. Chopped and screwed up. Ooh. Fatty. Found the fattest softy. Fat soft shell right here. The heck is that? Somebody lost their drone? I don't know. What do you think it's the water? Probably been in here. <laughs> Dang. This is a good drone too. Yeah, DJI. Freaking drone got washed up. <laughs> All right, we gonna put this big boy to work. Found a huge, huge soft shell sand crab. Look at this drag set right, not too loose. Cause it's about to go down, dude. Big boy alert. I am nervous. We might get something big. Uh, how many times we'll get him out there before he gets bit up? Oh, there it was. All right. Don't tell me that one got off. Nope. Woo. Silver. Yeah. This is perch number eight, I believe. Fish number nine. The soft shells are kind of easy easier to locate because they tend to stay on the top of the sand and i don't know if that's because they're molting or they just molted and being closer to the top surface helps with that process uh it's a soft shell but he's small all right so my bail had closed on me when i was casting and my line finally snapped Possibly because I have my drag too tight as well. But we're back in the game. All I need is two more, man. Two more fish. And I'll have that surf perch limit again. Mixed bag, though. Some 
catching different species. Three different species of perch caught today, which is silver, walleye, and barred. Yeah. Little barred, little baby barred. Baby bar. Ugh. Ugh. Splash water all over me. Go, little feller. Look at the bars on this guy. He got bars. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, youngster. Yeah, this rod got a lot under its belt so far has a five pound trout has a almost 13 pound carp kelp greenland rockfish surf perch bluegill we try to hook up one more time oh 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 did you bout it bout it is he bout it bout it that feels good oh he trying to take drag and all that this feel like a good one. Oh my gosh come on fish This one of the ones I've been waiting on. I'm waiting on a fish like this. Gotta tighten my drag all the way. It's a pretty decent bark. Woo! Does he feel heavy? Yes, that is the best fish of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Fish number 10. Oh right, that's what I'm talking about. That's a good 10 incher right there. Mini pole surf perch fishing, mini pole surf challenge, whatever you want to call it. The doc runner did its thing right here on the surf perch. We didn't cut us another limit, man. Yeah. Hit him with a little John. Yeah. Boy, it got real on it gets real today. I told y'all I had a feeling. Look at that. On the mini pole. Let's go. You know, this was so fun. I don't even know if I'll go back to fishing the surf regular, man. This was fun. Thank y'all for staying tuned and watching another It Gets Real adventure. You made it this far in the video. I do appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you dig what you just seen right here on It Gets Real, go on and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't ever miss another It Gets Real episode. But if you want to stay updated on the latest and greatest, follow me on It Gets Real Fishing on Facebook and Instagram. Last but not least, you see the fit, you see the drip. Hop on to ItGetsReal.com, the freshest fishing apparel for real anglers. Till the next one though, y'all be cool, y'all be blessed, peace. Now that Martin Lawrence movie I was talking about was called Nothing to Lose. Just remembered, it wasn't Blue Streak. It's nothing to lose. That was the Martin movie where he was swatting that bee away and the dude was helping him trying to kill it, but it looked like it was, he was beating him. Funny movie, funny movie, classic.